Shri Devindranath Kumar. Thank you, sir, for giving the opportunity to place my view on behalf of my AADMK party. Sir, streamlining the field of medical education so as to attain goal of quality health coverage to every citizen of the country has been one of the major pillars of this government led by our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji. As an another major step, the government has now finalized and placed the Indian Medical Council Amendment Bill 2019 to place the Indian Medical Council Amendment Second Ordinance 2019. As such, I welcome this amendment bill as it has been brought by the government to ensure transparency, accountability and quality in the governance of medical education throughout the country. The Medical Council of India and the Dental Council of India were set up under Acts of Parliament with a view to regulate medical and dental education in the country. But unfortunately, several years before, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India had come across certain malpractices by Medical Council of India. In this regard to the provisions and regulations of the Indian Medical Council Act 1956, especially as far as approval and renewal of licenses are concerned, I understand that due to such malpractices, this amendment has become necessary. Therefore, the present amendment bill superseding the power of Medical Council of India will ensure uniform standards of higher education qualification in medicine, accountability and recognition of medical qualifications. This amendment bill is brought in continuance of an ordinance enforced by the government and in this amendment, the number of members in governing board has been increased from 7 to 12 as per substitution of Act 3A in the main Act. However, I would like to request Honorable Minister, sir, to, in, to inform that on what basis these 12 members will be selected and what would be their roles and responsibilities. No. I shall also be happy if proper representatives is given to the state or region in constituting the governing board, board which is going to be replaced with Medical Council of India. Sir, our country is at 112th position as per the ranking of World Health Organization and this is mainly due to the shortage of doctors in our country. Therefore, there is a need of need to decrease the patient-doctor ratio by way of additional medicinal seats in medical colleges. The governing board formulated through this amendment bill should consider increasing the seats accordingly. In addition to this, if all district hospitals in the country are converted into medical colleges with adequate support and infrastructure, we can increase the number of doctors according to the requirements. I once again welcome and support this amendment brought by the government with the hope that medical education in country will go to next level, providing adequate number of doctors and medical infrastructures in future re realizing the vision of providing world-class medical facilities to every common citizen of the country under the leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji. Thank you, sir. Honorable members.